Welcome back. We have an update from Imuron Limited. Trades on the NASDAQ under the symbol IMRN. It's a biopharmaceutical company focused on developing and commercializing orally delivered targeted polyclonal antibodies for the treatment of infectious diseases. Happy to welcome back its CEO, Steve Lydia Moore. Welcome back, Steve. We're looking forward to your update today. Uh, and thank you for having me back. Uh, look forward to providing an update to everybody today. I'll just quickly skip through the uh, safe harbor statement here. I won't go through all of this slide. Um, I will say that we, we develop uh, uh, biopharmaceutical products using a unique uh, platform technology based on hyperimmune bovine uh, colostrum. A few updates here. We have filed recently in October uh, investigational new drug application, got it into the FDA before uh, the shutdown it was accepted for review this is taking our asset imm529 uh, into uh, phase two for clostridioides difficile infection and we have another uh, readout coming uh, by the end of this month which is imm124e or otherwise known as uh, travelan we uh, uh, the large study done by the uniform services university and some 851 uh, military personnel and the uh, indication for prevention of traveller's diarrhoea um, reads out at the end of the month. So we're looking forward to that uh, as well. I'll provide you shortly with an update on the uh, sales activity for Travelan, which is sold in USA, Canada and USA. Uh, Canada. Uh, quick uh, financial operating highlights. We've just finished our financial year ending uh, June. So we hit, did uh, revenue of $7.3 million up some 49% uh, on the, uh, the prior year. Uh, that growth was coming uh, both from North America and Australia. So Australia up 40% and North America up uh, 76%. Uh, importantly, you can see we've maintained a margin of a uh, healthy margin of 65% there. And uh, EBITDA uh, excluding net R&D. So this is uh, R&D expenditure and also income associated with R&D, both grants and uh, R&D tax incentives from the Australian government. Uh, that was a negative $3.1 million, but it's an improvement, importantly, of $2.1 million. So we're trying to get that figure towards uh, zero, working strongly towards that. And cash as of June was uh, $5.9 million, including a term deposit of, uh, uh, and uh, does not include the uh, $2.8 million raised in uh, July recently. Shows our global footprint here. I mentioned we're based in Australia, but we sell in uh, Australia, uh, US and uh, Canada. We have uh, just launched uh, this week uh, Pro IBS, uh, a new product for irritable bowel syndrome. So this has been a long time coming. So pleased to announce that that stock's arrived on in uh, into Australia. It's been released for sale and uh, we expect to start shipping it uh, by the end of the week. So it's an exciting time for us as well. Provides a a new revenue uh, opportunity to fund our ongoing uh, R&D operations there. This shows a little bit granularity on, on our sales. A uh, pleasing thing about this, if you compare the uh, financial year just completed uh, with the, the one prior, both of them were um, increases on prior years, but importantly, the slope of the, uh, the line in the right, most recent year is a, uh, a stronger trajectory and we're getting growth in both uh, Australia uh, and North America. We've just completed quarterly sales for the first quarter of our financial year ending uh, June. So for September quarter, we had uh, global sales uh, of $2 million, uh, which was uh, up 34% on the uh, prior corresponding period. So continued growth uh, for Travelland. Uh, this is where it's sold. Uh, it's pretty much every chemist uh, or pharmacy within, within Australia. And in Canada, we're uh, getting uh, good coverage there. We've got uh, a few Atlantic uh, uh, provinces, which we uh, don't have coverage in yet, but we're hoping to get those uh, before the end of this financial year. And in the, in the US, we sell it primarily through uh, Amazon.com, uh, Walmart.com and Passport Health uh, Travel Clinics. Let's have a look at the clinical program here, give you a quick update. So I mentioned the uh, Travelan uh, large uh, 851 subject trial, top line data uh, to read out at the end of the month. And uh, once we have that data, our plan is to request an end of phase two meeting with the FDA, which is a precursor to moving into uh, phase three studies. Uh, you can see there the uh, estimated US peak sales for that product is uh, US 102 million. Uh, these are estimates. Uh, provided to us by Lumanity, a leading uh, US uh, 
consultancy firm. Uh, they've done the same for Clostridia Audis Difficile Infection for our IMM 529 asset. That's uh, US $400 million at peak in the, in the US market. And I mentioned that we've just recently filed and had accepted for review our IND. And uh, we're hoping to have that approved by, before the end of this uh, calendar year, which will allow us to go into phase two uh, next calendar year. We have one other preclinical asset in development for vancomycin resistant enterococci, that's IMM986. And uh, we've completed all the manufacturing for the preclinical studies. Uh, the preclinical activities are underway. Assays have been developed, and we're hoping to have uh, uh, initial preclinical studies completed by the end of this calendar year. So, good progress on that as well. Uh, so, let's just summarise the milestones coming up. So, we expect continued uh, quarter on quarter growth for uh, Travelan and uh, new sales from uh, uh, IBS product uh, Pro IBS launching uh, this week. And on the clinical side, we have that. Uh, USU study data, top line data due out by the end of the month. Uh, and we have uh, feedback from the F FDA uh, on the uh, IMM 529 for C. diff on the IND that we filed by the end of the year. So some rich milestones coming up there. And uh, I might just uh, pause there for you to ask any questions that you may have. Uh, scientific references are available here for you if you'd like to look at uh, the research we've done and published papers. Okay, thank you, Steve. Yeah, a few questions for you. First of all, congratulations on the growth. Uh, do you issue guidance? And if you do, was that a beat? Uh, we, we did last year. Um, we, we issued guidance of uh, $7 million in sales, and we did do a beat. Uh, we, we came in at 7.3. We haven't put out guidance for the, the current financial year, but you can expect the continued double-digit uh, growth in sales uh, for the current financial year. Uh, we've already seen that in the, uh, the first quarter. And Matt asks, what is the timeline to completing the studies and the results released? Yeah, so uh, on IMM uh, 529, we, we're waiting for that IND uh, approval. Uh, that clinical trial, the phase two trial, will uh, start next calendar year. We're estimating that it will take uh, approximately two years to recruit and uh, dose. So it will be 60 patient study uh, for that particular one. Our intent is at the end of that uh, clinical trial to uh, license it out to a, a big pharma, big uh, biopharma company. On uh, Travelan, IMM 124E, uh, we're waiting for those USU study results, which are due at the end of the month. We'll have that end of phase two meeting with the FDA and we'll get clear guidance on the uh, protocol for, for moving forward. Uh, these results are, are, are quite important to inform that study in that previous studies we've done in challenge studies were dosed three times daily. Uh, we recently completed a phase two study dose once daily, and this trial conducted by the USU is twice daily. So we have uh, an indication as to which dose to take forward into uh, phase three. Those phase three studies we'll hope to start next calendar year. They'll also run, we'll probably need two. Uh, uh, we'll run them in parallel, and uh, it would be uh, two years for each of those as well. So plus another 12 months or so for review and approval by the FDA. So you're talking at least uh, three years from the start of those studies before you would be looking at a, uh, a product approval. Well, perfect. Uh, can you give our viewers uh, any closing remarks today? Uh, look, uh, it's quite an exciting time. I've, I've been with the company just under three years now. Uh, we've taken uh, a product out of uh, the pandemic with sales uh, when I started of uh, you know, less than $200,000 to $7.3 million last year. Um, it's continuing to grow strong, strongly. Uh, we, yes, no, we've only penetrated the Australian market by 15% and uh, made a, a small splash into the North American market, so you can expect continued growth. And our, our technology platform is now moving the point into the pointy end of uh, clinical trials. So we've got uh, phase two just completed on one asset, looking to move into phase three, and the other moving into uh, phase two. And uh, an exciting new uh, preclinical program coming through as well. So watch this space, lots of uh, milestones coming up both on the, uh, the financial side and the uh, clinical development side. Wonderful. Well, congratulations on all that, Steve, and thank you for this update today. Uh, thank you again. All right, everyone, we'll be right back.